Hello guys and welcome to another PowerPoint tutorial. In this video I will show you how I made this zoom effect using PowerPoint for Microsoft 365. These lights are super easy to do, so let's get started. So the first thing that we'll do is that we'll insert an image. I got this one online from Google Images and then we're gonna click on picture format crop and then drag the black handles all the way to the edges of the slide then click on the drop down menu and click on fill and now we're going to duplicate the slide with ctrl d i'm going to zoom out a little bit and then go again to picture format crop and i'm going to enlarge the image using the white knots and just reposition it until you find the focus area of the image that you want to highlight on that particular slide. And then we're going to repeat the exact same process. So duplicate with Ctrl D, move the image a little bit to your new focus area. Again, duplicate it, move it a little bit. And we're going to repeat this until we're done with our image. So here I'm on my last slide and I'm going to focus on Abraham Lincoln. So again, picture format crop and just move it a little bit so it's centered within the slide. And I'm actually going to make it larger because I think that the image wasn't big enough. And I'm going to repeat the process with all of them. Just I'm going to make them a little bit larger. So I'm going back to the slides, again, crop, just make it a little bit larger. And this will make the effect a lot more dramatic. And of course, we're gonna use the zoom transition. So if you don't have it, it's probably because your PowerPoint version is a little bit old, but you can use it for free if you go to powerpoint.new on your browser. Now I inserted a new slide because here I'm going to create the camera focus stickers and to do that I just inserted two rectangles, rotating one of them and then selecting both of them, removing the outline, changing the color to black and then you select both of them, go to shape format, merge shapes and then click on union and just like that we have that sticker. And then I'm going to copy paste it into the second slide. And I'm just going to put it here. And to create the rest of them, we just have to drag with holding control on your keyboard. And that way you will be able to duplicate it. So then just select both of them again, holding control, drag your mouse down. And from the shape format panel, you can flip it. And now just like that, we have our four stickers. So then copy and paste them into the first slide and then select all of them holding shift on your keyboard. And I'm going to make them larger. And then I'm just going to take them out of the composition just to the gray area. Okay, so now let's go to slide number two again and we're going to copy these stickers with Ctrl C and paste them into our third slide with Ctrl V. And just reposition them around the object or the person that you want to highlight in this slide and just repeat the process with every single slide here I'm on my last one with Abraham Lincoln and then just delete that last slide that you did. So then we're going to duplicate our first slide with Ctrl D and just move it to the end of your slides. And then I'm going to insert this shape right here because this is where we'll have our texts. So I'll just make it a little bit smaller. Then I'm going to change the color to white. Then right click format shape and on fill we're going to increase the transparency a little bit. Double click on the shape and you'll be able to start writing in it. So in this case I will put George Washington because this is my first slide and it will be 
the first president of the United States. And for this presentation, I'm using the font Montserrat, extra bold for the titles and regular for the descriptions. So once you're happy with how it looks, just copy and paste it into the next slide and it will be just easier to change the words. So my second president is Thomas Jefferson, who was the third president of the United States. So again, copy and paste it into the next slide. The next one is Theodore Roosevelt, and he was the 26th president of the United States. And finally, let's do Lincoln, which was the 16th president of the United States. So basically, I'm repeating the process, copying the shape from the previous slide, pasting it into the new one, and then just replacing the texts. So for the morph transition, you're going to have to copy the element that's going to have the animation and paste it into the previous slide, but taking it out of the composition and also pasting it into the next slide, again, out of the composition. And we're going to repeat the exact same process with everything. So again, copying it, pasting it into the previous slide and then pasting it in again into the next slide outside of the composition to the gray area. The more elements that you have morphing, the more confusing it's gonna get. So just be super organized to see exactly where you have applied the animation. But if you stick to the same principle, it should be fine. Like copy the element, paste it into the previous slide, but outside of the composition, and then pasting it again to the next slide outside of the composition as well. So the last thing that we need to do is to apply the transition. So we're going to select all of the slides, holding shift on your keyboard, go to transitions and click on morph. And that's how I did this incredible effect using PowerPoint. It's absolutely incredible. It looks like something that you could do on a video editing software. Remember that you can download this presentation for free from my website, lurutiappt.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video if you want to get more PowerPoint tutorials every single week. Follow me on Instagram and on TikTok for more PowerPoint tutorials. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you on my next video.